Good morning, y'all. It is a balmy 37 degrees out. Woo, it's cold today. Um, I got extra layers in my pack. I'm a kind of a warm hiker, so I dress kind of light. So, but I did bring extra clothing. Uh, today, we were up near Randolph, New Hampshire, north of the Presidentials. We're hiking up Pine Mountain. It's part of the 52 The View series. And uh, not sure what to expect, but let's get to it. Talk to you soon. Good morning again, y'all. So, yeah, I've only been on the trail, or it's actually a road right now. I think the road, uh, you follow this road, I think it's called the, the Horton Center. Um, the Horton Center at Pine Mountain, something like that. And you follow this trail, or dirt road, for a little while until the trail starts. So this is basically what I'm following right now. And I don't know if you can see through the woods. You probably can't. But I can definitely see the mountain in front of me. And it looks like it's a little bit of a hump. So once I hit the trail, I'll uh, turn you on, show you what I can show you, and we'll take it from there. All right, talk to you soon. Beautiful little viewing area, I think like halfway up the mountain, maybe even further. But there's Mount Washington, and you can see the observatory. I can see the observatory. Let me see if I can get you guys to see the observatory. Yep, there you go. Mount Washington Observatory from Pine Mountain. So if we scan back out, and we take a step to our left, you can see Mount Madison. What a beautiful day out. Perfectly clear skies. Gorgeous out. Okay, we'll see you at the top.
Carol Williams Horton. I'm not sure if it was her family that dedicated this to her. They made a beautiful seat. This must have been one of her favorite spots to come. And just look over the vast wild golf wilderness. Oh man, is it beautiful here. What a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. And the view. I could sit here all day if I had to. Whew. This is a view, a view from uh, Pine Mountain looking due east. And if you look on that ridge line, that is the Appalachian Trail. It follows that ridge line all the way down, down into Maine. So the Maine border is not too far away in the distance. And uh, what a view. Another stellar view for today. So actually the summit of Pine Mountain doesn't have any views. Uh, there's remnants of a fire tower that was once stood there, but uh, that's about it. So the ledges, or the area called the ledges, or the ledges trail is where all your views are from. So I'm coming off the back side, or the northern side, and heading back down around. If I see something to videotape, I'll do it. Talk to you soon. Huh. Chapel view. I didn't read anything about a chapel. This has piqued my curiosity. Let's go have a look. Oh, I see some type of a structure. A chapel or a shelter? Looks like a shelter to me. Yes, it is. It is a shelter and a fine one at that. Boy, that is beautifully and clean. Man, is this a nice shelter. Sleeps about one, two, three, four, five, six people. I lift up my eyes to the hills, Adirondack Shelter. Built by Amherst Congregational Church, 1996. This is a beautiful shelter. Man, this would be a great getaway. But, and what do we have out here? Yeah, I didn't even read any of this about it when I looked up Pine Mountain. Well, we used to have some type of a bench. Looking due east, down to the town of Gorham. And some beautiful rock outcrops, cliffs over there. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. Man, what a great place. I might have to pack up my backpack with my sleeping bag and come up here one night. Absolutely wonderful. Woo! Man. All right, y'all, that will do it for today. That was Pine Mountain. Man, well, that was spectacular. Those views were amazing. Uh, if you're sitting around at home the next couple of weeks and you just wanna have your breath taken away, then by all means, come up to Pine Mountain, bring your lunch, take in the views, and you definitely won't regret it. Um, I'm gonna try to head over to Ellis Falls on my way back down south, so. Uh, a little bit of continuation of the waterfall series, so stay tuned and I'll pick you up uh, a couple miles down the road. But uh, all in all, what a great day, great weather. It was a little chilly in the morning time. Uh, my hands were like, where are, my, where are your gloves? But, uh, <laughs> but I warmed up quickly. That trail is pretty steep, uh, but it's only short, uh, steep for a short time, so uh, definitely well worth it. All right, I will get to the car. Go down the road and I'll pick you back up. Talk to you soon.
So there are a lot of cars in the parking lot. So this is uh, Glen Ellis Falls we're walking down to. Uh, we're following a trail along the river and I assume the falls is up ahead. All right, stick with me. See what this is all about. The water is crystal clear, but I'm sure a bit chilly. There seems to be quite a dramatic drop off up ahead. jumping in the water and they must be jumping off that point right up there into this really deep pool right here. So there you have it. I'm on my way out of Glen Ellis Falls. Beautiful little river that flows to the top of the falls, which is right there. And thankfully it's not too crowded today. I would imagine in a very busy day, it is elbow to elbow here. But we take a good day. All right, that should do it for today. That should do it for the videos. I might stop at one other place on the way home, but we'll see. All right. Thanks for joining me. And until then, see you at my next adventure. Bye-bye. All right, so a little, little surprise for this afternoon. On the way home, I decided to stop off at Madison Boulder Geological Park. Uh, I guess some of the world's largest boulders are here. So I've seen it on TV, I've seen advertising for it, and I've always been curious about it. So we're stopping by. We're going to go take a look. So come walk with me. All right, that was it. That's Madison Boulder. The thing is mammoth. I can't believe how big it is. I have no idea how it got there. Um, obviously, glacier pieces, big pieces of ice have moved it. But uh, yeah, I've driven by this area a million times and never stopped by and finally decided to take a look. So now that'll do it for today. So have a great day and don't forget to join me on my next adventure. Take care. Bye-bye.